2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect. It's given from TV, internet, radio, wherever our voice can be heard, wherever we can be seen. Before we came on, had nothing come on, we go out absolutely. Nothing else is coming on. We're not teaching holiness, living a clean, sanctified life. The people ain't in nothing. And they had heard nothing. I could have took the pain. They told me what to say. They told me we sounded me what was I comfortable with. I could have took the pain. But don't make you much of a man. Nobody gonna never control you. You'll never have. Ain't selling out these people. One thing I got over every preacher that you ever come on TV ever with. I got myself That's right. That's why they won't let me stay on TV radio. Uh, what you be saying? What I'm saying going on in church. Why y'all want nobody else say something about it? I'm looking at going back on TV. Some of you, they got to have a channel out here made just for me. And I be the only one on the TV 24 hours a day. Soon they think I'm going off, I come back on. They stop sweating. They sweat start pouring back out of them again. Somebody got to tell that man he wrong. Somebody tell that woman she wrong. Somebody gotta tell that kid they gotta quit sitting around them gang smoking dope. Somebody gotta say something about it. Man. One reason why we got so much error in the so-called religious movement today is the real fact that people haven't been taught of God. I'ma tell you mine to go out like a man. I don't see Dr. King and everybody that done play with these people, they still come and kill you. Then they come along later on and start shooting all your dirt out there. These folks ain't nothing but some hypocrites. Don't pay them no attention. It ain't all of me. They know who they are. Everyone of them they call me white kicking up. You know I hit you. Yep. If you ain't you, what you running your mouth for? They said the average of these preachers fall private. What I'm calling a harder for? Ain't one shut my mouth. They already setting these folks up and got you already color coded on what color they gonna get you under to try to get you out of here. They love these churches. They head along the crap flow down the TDJ. All these people are CIA officers. They paid these men. These men, they got enough dirt on these men. They can only say what they train and what they taught to say. I can only remember the Lord already know you can be alright. He know you can mess up. Do what you can do. That's a Christian theology. Yeah. The law referred to the Jew, Israelite. Then that right? Don't refer to no Christian. I don't know why people went off and taking all these subtitles they've been given to by the American so-called people. The same people that give us this title, the same people that hung us and beat us and raped us. And John chapter 6 and verse 1 and 4. Listen to the book. No man can come to me. Except the Father which has sent me draw. You know why these people run their church and they can be Christian? Because a Christian can be a hypocrite. They're going to run back to their bracelet. They're going to look at that little drawn out bitch on the back of their car and sit there confused and wait on Jesus to see what he's going to tell them. Nothing different than the word. They sit in these churches and sign off on their food. That's why they'll take on these so be hyphenated religion because they know they ain't standing for nothing. Everybody is open up the freedom of choice. And when you come down the world, you ain't got no choice. If you're going to accept God, wait, God words that mandate over everything. It takes precedent over your feelings, your idea, what you think, and anything. The word of God should rule. When you say you name the name of Christ, there has to be an identity. And that's the problem. These people don't have a consistent identity, yet they want to name the name of Christ. That's a problem. That's error. That's why it talks is written in the prophet. They shall all be taught of God. It don't matter where you find a Jew or Israelite that believe God's word, they should all speak the same thing. That's right. They should be perfectly joined together. When I went to this other church, they said that's what they believe, and they don't do that because they ain't what they believe. These folks program us so bad, we so divided. They've done a good job. Don't put on willing lips. Do it on just plain old stupidity. We don't trust each other, we don't care for each other, we ain't gonna support one another. Everything I'm telling them, they can look it up and read it, shoot my mouth down, and go on to prove me wrong. Every time you sell your soul out, ain't a whole lot to you. It don't take much to sell out to me. Listen, you can be whatever you want to be in America. That statement, they made it the truth. But you gotta be willing to do whatever it takes to do. I don't cut no deal with these people. Anytime you get with these people, you're not gonna be in their politics, you ain't gonna be in their faith, and you ain't gonna sell out. That's why they sit around calling me dumb, uneducated nigga, stole front preacher, whatever. But one thing about it, once again, you sit in the ball church, you sit in a lying, hypocrite religion, all your preacher fault, you sell your soul out, Democrat, Libertarian, Libertarian, Green Party, all the same devil. Don't try to sell out. Come on, son, show me. No strings attached. Ain't no hand up. Ain't nobody handing them out behind. They don't control me. CIA, FBI, don't make me no difference. All these people, nothing. Right. All they, all these people, they live right and obey God's word. Then Malachi one and seven. Listen to the book. You offer polluted bread upon you my offer altar. You offer polluted bread upon my altar. And you say, wherein have we polluted? Thee? And that you say, the table of the Lord is contemptible. Oh my goodness! You hear that? 
These preachers, they take the censor, the drug dealer, they take the liar, they take the shack up. Bring, all y'all bring your money because this your season. God is blessing you. Year 2007 is the year of relief. Where they get that from the New Testament? But the Old Testament done away with it. 2007 the year of relief. Everybody paid in their money. He don't say, now you say here you offer polluted bread upon my altar. And you want to say the table of the Lord. You say the Lord accept that? And if you offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if you offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. So I said, you gonna bring me that cripple junk you got? You gonna bring me that little sad little game you got? That little Benny Hinn little show they put on? That little dog and pony show? I told him, get your hand, trace it out. Put on everything how much you want to put a thousand dollars there. He said, you don't send a thousand dollars, ain't gonna work. I took up money, they paid the trade. He told him, don't put no chain in there, cause it make me nervous. 17th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, right quick, verse one. Listen to the book. Thou shalt not sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. What? Or, Bullock, or sheep, wherein he has blemished. Yeah. Or he did ill favor. Any type of ill faith. So when the New Testament coming on the fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, he said going to present himself a glory church not having spot or any such. Where did he get that privilege from? Man. Any evil faith. What have it got? Well, it's like some on it, but it ain't like a spot. It's like some. Thus, I don't want it. 